And two major stories are colliding tonight just as we begin a new week. New York City's vaccine mandate for city workers officially kicks in tomorrow, just one day before Election Day. Today on Staten Island, a get out the vote rally with Eric Adams and Governor Kathy Hochul faced off with Curtis Sliwa and a group of people protesting the mandate. The number of city workers who are vaccinated against COVID is climbing tonight. 91% of workers are now partially vaccinated. A few thousand more got their shots this weekend. About 24,000 workers workers are not vaccinated at all, and they have to be in order to head to work starting tomorrow. Tonight, the focus back on the FDNY. The commissioner doubled down on his criticism of unvaccinated firefighters. As questions linger, will the department be ready for tomorrow? News 4's Adam Harding starts us off at a firehouse in Midtown. Adam. And Gilma, late today, the FDNY is saying that 75% of firefighters now have that vaccine. But we have learned from the FDNY that about 2,000 across the city have been calling out for medical reasons. That is raising some eyebrows ahead of tomorrow, where if you are not vaccinated, you run the risk of losing a paycheck. Tonight, the FDNY says more than 2,000 firefighters are on medical leave, prompting new questions ahead of Monday as unvaccinated workers risk being placed on unpaid leave. The fire commissioner tonight saying the department has not closed any firehouses. Irresponsible, bogus sick leave by some of our members is creating a danger for New Yorkers and their fellow firefighters. They need to return to work or risk the consequences of their actions. Mandates are illegal. No mandate. On Staten Island, opposition to the mandate is growing as the battle looms large ahead of Tuesday's mayoral election. Tomorrow, we are in danger. Public safety. Republican Curtis Sliwa spending the day at this fire station. I can assure all these brave and heroic civil servants, from the hospital workers and the teachers where this started, to now the fire department, the police, and the sanitation workers, that if the good people of New York City elect me mayor on January 2nd, we're rolling back all these mandates. His opponent, Eric Adams, who is polling far ahead of Sliwa, has said before he would have talked with unions ahead of the mandate. He was asked today about his first 100 days in office, should he come out on top Tuesday. Public safety is a prerequisite to prosperity. Safety and justice will go together. Our city is going to be safe. A second, we have to grow our economy. We must get people back to work. With the debate dominating headlines, the mandate is leading to more city employees getting the shot. But thousands have yet to get the vaccine, with time all but up. And Gilma, the fire union expected to be here early tomorrow at the fire station behind us with a last minute update on where things stand within the department as we get into tomorrow where the workers essentially will be told they cannot come to work if they do not have that vaccine. Again, the latest number, 75 percent of all firefighters across the city. Meantime, the FDNY tonight stressing that no firehouses have closed despite what we have seen over the last 48 hours. We're live tonight in Midtown. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, 